Since the dawn of agriculture, individuals of every large wild species of mammal have left on average no more than one descendant. With a single exception, Homo sapiens, together of course with our domesticated livestock and pets. Biocultural evolution has enabled our ancestors to propel copies of their genes into future generations at an astounding rate. Agriculture and medicine are the main reasons why. But the rapidly escalating advances for these institutions have generated a moral dilemma for the 21st century. Their underlying missions are to facilitate as many healthy human lives as possible and lives that can last as long as possible. This leads inevitably to larger population sizes, which increases the strain on limited planetary resources. Living beyond Earth's available resource supplies and renewal rates harms the opportunity for future generations to enjoy long healthy lives, and this is morally wrong. How then do we reconcile these two conflicting moral obligations? For as long as we've been able, we have assumed a global scale obligation to provide people in need with adequate food and enable them to live healthier into older age. But doing this with growing public knowledge of the devastation of overpopulation means that we violate our moral obligation not to imperil these opportunities for future generations. By recklessly destroying the ecosystem services that our descendants will need to survive and flourish, we are knowingly risking their demise. Our biocultural evolution has largely disconnected humanity from its moral obligation to the future on planet Earth. We seem blind to the harmful, long-term consequences of modern agriculture, where research agendas are relentlessly committed to finding new technologies and practices for feeding more and more people. Similarly, the research agendas of modern medicine and healthcare are committed to finding new technologies, products and practices that enable more and more people to live longer, healthy lives. Our contemporary march of progress, with its aims to feed the world, end disease and extend healthy human lifespans, is an injustice to the future of humankind. If not aggressively combined with birth limitation on a global scale, it will promote an escalation of unspeakable misery for our descendants on a more crowded and more impoverished planet. This moral dilemma is a consequence of our own evolved psychology, but with a deeper and more broadly public understanding of this, we will be better equipped for responding appropriately to our contemporary moral obligations in ways that can also deliver the restored and sustainable ecosystem services that future generations are entitled to.